like Melly, right, is kind of in that same boat of farms his local scene, but when he goes to these bigger events, doesn't necessarily have the results you would expect considering his level of dominance. And I wonder if it's because Melly also doesn't bother you. Come on, Melly, bother well, you. You know who Don't also like doesn't bother you? Light. Anyway, Light doesn't bother. Light doesn't yeah. even look at the player character when playing online. Uh, that's true. Anyways, uh, the up airs, the nares, the damage racking on. Melly already pressured a ledge and corner, but this wide stage here on PS2, while you might think it's a benefit for the zoner to run away, it's also a benefit to the highly mobile character, Swiss, right, with these high platforms, to just not care about your zone of control, dance out of it, and find even more space to just, right, just run away from the cross. You can't do that on town. I never realized how similar. Oh, He's no. Dead. He tried to go for the trade yeah. and get another hit, and just Jen didn't give it to him. Yeah, well, Melee's gonna just have to hold center stage here. Jen, gonna look for some more edge guards like that. Yeah. It's not as much about holding center stage as holding that position under the platform, right? As we talked about before, it takes away Palu's ability to just throw those landing aerials at you with impunity, but it also gives kind of a lane that reduces where you think Palu Kane is gonna be to better just line up the very linear hitboxes, right, that the Belmonts throw out. It's really smart gameplay from Melly to hold these positions above and underneath these platforms when he has the opportunity. But Jen, likewise, has been positioning his defense in places where when he gets hit, he's never giving Melly the opportunity to do so in those places to capitalize on. But finally, Melly's. Well, you know, it's always very difficult for Melly to hold ledge, especially when Jen is just unafraid to go off stage. Unafraid, but not unperturbed. Now it is one stock left for Melly as he is trying to find a way to at least get on the board and on this one. Swiss for winners finals. We you never expect to see game one go quite this way, but Melly is not done with Jen yet and is gonna at least lock in one. Can he find a second one? Alright, okay. You know, I was having my doubts. I was like, Melly, did you pass the controller on to your little brother? That can't be you, but finally answering right back. No, it's, Could even this up. It's Elem. Elem? Yeah. <laughs> Elem. Elem. It's, 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 it's also known as Nega Melly, potentially in the house, the way that he took him a minute to wake up, but Melly is back in the building proper and starting to find a way back to close this lead. The down till under the auto reticle, gonna find a way in, but Jen's still gonna lock down the scramble afterwards. Melly though, able to get out of dodge, get under that platform to where it's safe, the up special to get you out of dodge, and racking up the damage slowly here, Swiss, but a lot of work left to do. You know, it makes sense that Melly's brother would be named Elem, carrying on that uh, Castlevania legacy, Dracula, Alucard. Makes you know, sense, but you know what also makes sense? That edge guard right there going in so deep. And you Just had to bring up Alucard, because the thing is, remember, remember, the main character in Castlevania is always killed by, by, their, by their really attractive former homie with long flowing hair. And you know who is is homies with Melly? Jen. And you know who has Aww. long flowing hair? Palutena. So by comparing it to Alucard, Swiss, you doomed it. Oh no. Oh no. My apologies for anyone who's rewatching the VOD. Jen, stop looking at the camera. <laughs> Please. No, fourth Staring ball. Into my we soul. need more fourth ball breaks on commentary. <laughs> you know, in, 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 with, with players personally. Stare into my soul here behind the mic. You can see me, I believe in you. Yeah, it's like, no, stop looking at me. You know what? I just have to say nice things about Jen now. Can't I, have him looking at me like that. You always say nice things about everybody, Swiss. Aw, thank you. I try. Yeah. You know, I just gotta be meaner now. Now we're going back here, right? Melly opting for the same counter pick we saw as last time and going to this hollow bastion, right? This big center mono plot. But Palu, ooh, Though she relies on aerials, much like Lucina, gets so much more off those juggles with the neutral air strings horizontally into the up air, air verticals, plus up air drag on that platform, that this Ooh. stage, Palu can just run the tables and has those zoning, those tools from range to dislodge Melly at a lower commitment risk than we see Lucina have, right? So this matchup, even though you might go to this stage as Melly, for Melly, uh, if you're Melly for the same reasons, Jen's tools against it are completely different, and it makes me like it, the counter pick a lot less in this matchup. I just feel like Melly just isn't playing as patiently against Jen. I mean, you're seeing a lot... Jen is just kind of bursting on him, using these multi-hits to kind of force their way through all these projectiles. Jen, and Jen just tried out. to get hit by cross and then combo off of getting hit. That was... 
That was some crazy play, but gonna miss his swing for the fences there. Melius is also unfortunately not gonna close it out. However, Jen is starting to give Melly these extra one, two, three opportunities to let him play his way back into an even stock count. And if he can do that, Swiss, then the world is his oyster. I think what Melly is doing a lot differently now is kind of varying up exactly where he's throwing his projectiles. As you saw with those two missed counters from Jen, Melly just positioned the cross right in between that mono plant just so it would miss. I, the empty hop there, right? Melly was saying, okay, most players are gonna swing with that back here. Jen saying, no, I'm too disciplined. That time, though, Melly is the one with the discipline to find his way back and say, pass the back here. But you know what, Jen, if it doesn't work, you try, try again. Third back here is the charm, and he's gonna lock out the stop. I mean, whenever Melly just goes in to try and force an option, like eat that grab we saw for that second stock, it gets him punished so hard, and it's usually costing him his life. Uh, the pressure again, right? That cross forcing Jen to go to platform. From there, Melly just can use his whip to cover the whole dang thing. Get on the board to boot, and now is Melly's winner side here is on the line. As long Jen as has set up these traps here, it's gonna be great. There we go. Oh no. But it's about finding the space to do so, right? When you don't really have a great option. Right, we've been talking uh, to get Jen off of you. We were talking about how important it is in this matchup, right, with Paladina wanting to find her way in and put you in that narrow and up air blender. Just have a way to get out of that out of dodge, reset the situation. But unfortunately, the bell monsters don't really. Right? And we've kind of seen that call be Melly's point of struggle throughout this set. But, you know, anything can happen here. Melly just has to make it back, does it? Just resetting the situation, not trying to do another neutral air. I Did love twice. that delay attack to find his way back out of dodge for at least a second. Getting caught over the platform is terrifying. But no! You too the neutral get up! And yeah, he was trying to catch Jen, right? We saw the down smash, we saw before we saw you know in these roll feeds we saw a lot of backers right Jen was playing very aggressive by the ledge not just earlier in this set but though it is an entire last one with Kirby 509 I think Melly there figured hey nobody's really shown you this so far right we've been doing a lot of those instant down airs to find the space find the mix-ups off my slides maybe I have the opportunity to just neutral get up shield get out of this one nope Jen Regia I mean, to be fair, Melly was also kind of jumping in to get back on stage mm -hmm. a lot. So he's like, you know, I can throw like a, a neutral get up. And Jenna's like, yeah, hold it. Mm -hmm. And that's what the thing is, right? People think about this one op the, these options that they hold in their back pocket, they don't do so that they can have a quote unquote get out of jail free mm -hmm. card. The list. ace in the hole. The problem is when you use all your options except one and then you yeah. treat the one thing you haven't done as a get out of jail free card. Everybody else knows that that's your option too. Mm. And so when push comes to shove, when your back is against the wall and you're gonna start to play that ease in your sleeve, mm. well, the